Welcome back from the break. We've seen Lane and Daniel going at it in the street class final, so now let's have a look at the pro class. First off, let's have a look at a few of the practice laps. With the pro class, we're expecting a little bit more out of the drivers. We want to see more speed, we want to see more angle, and we definitely want to see a better lane. Cars are expected to sit as close to the apex as they possibly can. And the apex for the drivers is marked out with the tall upright cones. You've got one there on the right we've just gone past. A little bit wide, but this one came up here on the left. Perfect, spot on. Stick the front end of the car as close as you can. The car here we've got is Joe Waghorn in the Green Cycles S15. Coming in tight on the hairpin, and he's just overcooked it. That we don't want to see from the pro class. That will give you a zero from there, then onwards. Zero is not good. And all your points goes to your opposition. You're probably not going to win from that point. This is a bit of other practice in the morning. We've got Adam Borneo Truella in the blue R32 Skyline and Danny Vahumis, godfather of drift in Australia, in the yellow JPC S15. These guys are going to give you a bit of an idea of what sort of proximity we expect from the guys. They're a little bit wide at the moment, but they will move up and be nice and close. Particularly as Adam comes up underneath Daniel, Danny here at the hairpin, we move in nice and tight on him. This is the sort of proximity we expect from the pro class drivers. We want the cars as close as possible, without any contact preferably, but they do say rubbing racing. And to finish off this lap, you'll see Danny sit nice and tight, corner's a little wide. Not too bad, but he's going to lose some points on that sector. Let's have another look at one in here. On the left hand side, we've got Nicholas Van Geest in the JWS four door R34 Skyline. And chasing him, we've got one of WA's top female drifters, Carla Fry in the KEA Construction S13 Sylvia. Nice entry there from Carla. That's the sort of thing we want to see as far as angle is concerned. The running of the inside wheel over the ripple strip there, any wheel over the line is going to lose the points. We want to sit as close to that white line as we possibly can, as close to the marker points as we can, but not go over it. Right there is a wheel over the line. That's not going to count badly against her, it's just not going to give her any sort of bonus points. She lose a few points for that. Any two wheels over the line is going to count as a spin. Once again, that's a zero, that's bad, that's going to end up losing you the race. Once again, we've got a nice sort of proximity here, and this is the sort of apex we want to see. Right across the marker, as tight as we possibly can, that's some good apex here. Let's get into the battles. So we know what the judges are looking for now out of the pro class drivers. So let's get straight to the top four. In the black R34 JWS Skyline, we've got Nicholas Banger Van Geest. And in the red R32 Skyline, we've got Tarquin Van Ruen, sponsored by RBS Morgans and VR Auto Service. Some nice uh, entries from both guys there. The problems are both angle, good smoke. A little bit wide from both cars on the corner there, but both doing the same job. Tarquin's doing a good job of uh, emulating Banger here. He's wide on the corner, actually he's got a big handful of understeer, that's not going to do well with the judge, it's going to cost him a lot of points and Bangers actually used the advantage there to pull away, get a good gap on him. Nice entry from Tarquin, he's going to try and make the most of this here and pull some points back. He sit tight on the apex, that's good apexing there. Good angle, bit straight and he's, he's alright, he's uh, pulled it through. Let's have a look at the next lap. Here we're going to have uh, Tarquin out in front and see what Banger can do with the chasing gun. Nice early entry from both cars. Let's see if uh, Banger's a little bit of a straight in there. He's done okay. He's, uh, see if he can pull up a little bit tighter on Tarquin. Good angle for both cars. Good speed for both cars. Tarquin seems to be coming in tight on the corner. Both apex in that corner very, very well. Head up towards the hairpin. Banger moves in really close under Tarquin here. Right on the apex line. Good driving for the both cars here. And through the last turn. Be a close one. See where the judges go. And the judges have given the win to Tarquin. He's moving on to the top two. Banger's going to have to fight it out for third place. So here we go. This is the other half of the top four battle. We've got Adam Borneo Truella in the blue R32 Skyline and myself in the Federal Drift Experience Sylvia. A little bit too far behind Borneo here. Should be up a bit tighter. Nice angle for both cars. 
see if I can keep up with him with the speed. Nice angle from Borneo. He's going to pull a bit of a distance. Car's going wide. It's out in the marbles, and that is not the track. That is not where I'm supposed to be heading. Let's see what happens. Bring it back on. That's going to cost big time. Not only do I get zero points for that sector, I'm getting zero for the rest of the track. Doesn't hurt to put on a bit of a show anyway, though. Okay. See if we can salvage something. Second lap. I'm going to lead this time. Adam's going to chase me down. Driving the Filters Elite R32 Skyline. Nice proximity from Adam straight away. Getting it nice and tight. Good angle, good speed. Great proximity. Transition through the S's. Absolutely as tight as you could possibly be with proximity. This is what we want to see out of one of WA's best drifters. Great apexing. Both cars sitting on the line. Up to the hairpin. A little tighter from Adam on the hairpin there than myself. Last turn. Pulling tight on the apex. With the heat on the day and the strains on the chase car, unfortunately we weren't able to film the first lap of this battle with myself versus Banger Van Geest in the third place race. Not to say I'm too upset though because I did have a spin which has put me a long way behind in the points and meaning I'm going to have to push pretty hard to try and catch up. Got some nice proximity going on here. It's a little bit wider on the corner than Banger but we're doing alright. I'm emulating him okay. Nice speed up through the S's. Banger's trying to pull away. Do my best to try and stay with him. See how we got the hill here. I've ran a little bit too tight on the inside of that corner there. It's going to cost me a couple of points. Banger's doing a nice job. Nice angle on the way into the hairpin. Nice and close to the apex. See how we transition to the last couple of corners. Last Banger takes the win and takes up third place for the day. Okay, so this is the final. This is for the top spot. On the right-hand side, we've got Adam Borneo Truello in the Filters Elite R32 Skyline. And on the left-hand side, now chasing, we've got Tarquin Van Ruen in the RBS Morgan's VRO Service R32 Skyline. Nice entry for both cars. Tarquin seems to have a bit of an understeer issue there. He's not going to get many points for that one. Adam's going to have a bit of an advantage to start with. Both cars, fair bit of speed up through the hill. This is nice work. Nice close in the air. Ah, Tarquin's big, big understeer and off the track. That is going to be a huge advantage to Adam there. Not only is he going to get the points for the top two sectors, Tarquin's getting zero. So let's turn it around for lap two. Tarquin to lead this time, Adam to chase him down. Entry to turn one. Nice big entry. Great proximity from Adam once again right on that apex line, running his wheel right on the white line. Up through the S's. Both cars a little wide off that apex, but that's okay. Adam doing well to emulate Tarquin. Moving up tight on him here, sitting in that corner. A little bit more angle from Adam. To the hairpin. He's very tight in here, right on that apex. This is some great driving here from Adam. Tarquin seems to be struggling a little bit with the front end of his car at the moment. Bit of understeer there. Adam moves to avoid him. And that's the win for Adam. I'm here with Borneo, the winner of the Pro Series. Now, tell me, what goes through your head when you're out there in the monks at all? Uh, mate, I try not to be uh, too overconfident, but I'm definitely confident going into all the battles, mate, and I just give it my best and see what happens at the end of the day. Do you have a pre-race ritual that you go through? You visualise the track, the corners, or...? I uh, generally try and go out for a steak the night before and get a few beers into me, but that's about it. <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful game plan. Now, um, how, how many years have you been developing the car for? I've only had the car for a couple of months, this one. Um, I've been drifting for about 10 years, but um, this car's a recent addition to the family, and um, so far, two wins from two starts, so it's pretty good. So you've taken to it quite well? Yeah. And you've got some new sponsors on board, I believe? Uh, yeah, mate. Field as a lead have come on board with uh, Power Plus E85. They're supplying us with the E85 that makes the car go as hard as what it does and last as long as it does. And, uh, yeah, Borneo's Race Prep still looking after the car. And, um, yeah. Awesome stuff. Well, we'll definitely uh, see you out there the next round.
Well, sadly, that's all we've got time for tonight. So check out www.perthstreetscene.com.au for the next dr drift event or head to wascc.com.au.